It is often said that the most difficult thing in computer science is naming things. And when it comes to JavaScript methods and standard library uh, functions, that is no exception. Today we're going to be talking about slice versus splice. They sound very similar, but they do very different things. They're both array methods and we're going to look into what they do, how they're different, and the trick that I use to remember the difference. So first let's take a look at slice. Um, so what we'll do is we will have this new array and we're going to modify, uh, we'll, be, we'll be using my array as a base. So we'll do new array equals my array dot slice. And in slice, what's going to happen is it's going to take whatever elements we specify out of this array. So it's going to be selecting these elements. I'm going to give it indices that will select second and third. It'll take those out and then it will store that as a new array. Okay, so if I give it index one and index three, the tricky thing about this is that this is this index is exclusive. So this is the start index, this is the end index. And so for this, it's gonna start at index one and go up to index three exclusively, so back to two. So this will give us second and third. So now if we, let's say we're gonna log out uh, my array here just so we can see that and then here we'll log out This new array as well, okay, so it should give us second and third um, Down here on line five So if we run that then we'll see first second third fourth and then the second log out is second and third just like we said um, And we and we could change this drop this down here as well so we can just confirm that it's not changing the original array. Okay, so let's splice in a, uh, excuse me, <laughs> that is slice in a nutshell. Now let's look at splice. What splice is going to do is splice will change the original array in place. And it'll take a, it'll take the same first argument. So it will take the first index and then the tricky thing about this is that the second one is the delete count, if you see here. Um, so splice is actually deleting items from the original array. And unlike slice, it is going to be modifying it in place. Okay, so if we pass it a delete count of two, then it should take these two items out of the array and we'll be left with just first and fourth. Okay, so if we log out my array before it, and then copy that and log it out after. We can see the difference. We'll see uh, what splice does to this array. So again, notice that with slice, it is not changing it. Uh, it's not changing the original array in place. It's just returning a new array based on the indices that I've given. And then with splice, as we'll see here, clear out this console, we'll see that now it's returning first and fourth. So it's actually removed those two items that we've given. Um, and the key here is that this is the item count, how many we want it to remove. So this is the start index, and then it's gonna start at index one and then take out one, two items. That's what leaves it with first and fourth. So there are a couple of tricky things about this. Um, as I've been talking about these things, the first is that this is the end index and this is the number of items. So that kind of makes it tricky. The other is just the fact that it's slice and splice and they sound so similar. And the other thing is that uh, this one modifies the array in place and this one does not, okay? So the one, the one mnemonic that I use to help me remember these things um, is that slice, it starts with S and it does not have a P. Slice will select items, okay? So it'll select one through three exclusive and then it will not modify it in place. And splice will modify it in place. So I think splice, place, and slice, select. Okay, so slice will select the items that I tell it, and splice will modify it in place. So still tricky, there are some things that you have to just kind of memorize. Um, you don't have to memorize these things. I think that this helps me work faster if I have these methods committed to memory. I don't have to go on Mozilla Developer Network docs and look up the difference between them. I don't have to read through this uh, method definition every single time that I wanna determine if I wanna use slice or splice. 
Um, because I've committed it to memory, I can just continue on with my workflow. I can continue with my development and I don't even have to think twice about it. Uh, so hopefully this helps out. Let me know if you have other ways that you use to remember the difference between these two or other methods within JavaScript. I know there are lots of things that are named um, ambiguously that are kind of confusing or things that are just overall challenging to understand. So let me know if you have special tricks or methods that you use for memorizing things or keeping things straight. Um, I think this one helps for me and hopefully it helps for you. And otherwise, we will see you in the next video.